Hello everyone, it's Cherie, and I want to tell you about a fairly recent discovery of mine. Back in 2021, when I was researching lots of horror films, I came across the found footage monster movie Troll Hunter, shot in Norway. I really enjoyed it, so much so that I bought the DVD. One of the things that really stood out to me was the gorgeous Norwegian scenery. I wanted to see more, so I googled Norwegian cinema, and the top result that came up was for a 2015 movie called The Wave. The Wave is the first Scandinavian disaster film. It's a high concept story about a geologist who predicts that a certain mountain pass will collapse, sending a rock slide into a fjord, which will produce an 80 meter high tsunami. His prediction comes true and he must do whatever it takes to save his family and the inhabitants of the hamlet directly in the tsunami's path. I loved the wave. The concept, the acting, the visual effects. It's one of those subtitled movies that you don't care you're reading subtitles because it's so good. And I had to buy the DVD. <laughs> the next year, in April of 2022, I discovered the movie The Quake. It's the 2018 sequel to The Wave, with the same cast of characters and a similar story structure. The quake takes place three years after the events of The Wave. The geologist has become a sad divorcee, but when a major earthquake hits the capital city of Oslo, he must do whatever it takes to rescue his estranged family. There are more set pieces in this one. High rises topple, Oslo is leveled. It's closer to Hollywood disaster films like The Towering Inferno and Earthquake. While it was great seeing the characters from the first film, it didn't really have the same emotional impact as the first, but it was still really an enjoyable watch. Then just recently, in June of 2024, I discovered two more Norwegian disaster films, The Tunnel and The Burning Sea. The Tunnel came out in 2019. The story takes place on Christmas Eve when people journey home for the holidays. A tanker truck crashes inside a five mile mountain tunnel and a deadly fire breaks out. One of the people trapped inside is the estranged daughter of a volunteer firefighter. She helps people find safety inside while first responders, including her father, do whatever it takes to get the trapped travelers out. I liked the tunnel. Again, it wasn't as good as the wave, but it was a fun watch. And finally, The Burning Sea, by the same director of The Quake. Released in 2021, The Burning Sea takes place in the North Sea. Due to 50 years of offshore drilling, a crack opens on the ocean floor and an oil rig collapses. A robotic submarine operator must do whatever it takes to rescue her boyfriend after he becomes trapped underwater in the aftermath. It was shot on real rigs and the snake-like underwater robots are real as well. Again, a fun movie, though not as great as The Wave. <laughs> so to summarize, Norwegian disaster cinema is filled with large-scale visual effects and intimate family drama. What I really like about the genre is that there are no real bad guys. It's just people combating the forces of nature in order to save their fellow human. Have you seen The Wave, The Quake, The Tunnel, or The Burning Sea? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and have a safe day.